This one small tweak to my client's diet was the difference between them constantly craving sugar, snacking between meals, and binge eating on weekends, to being able to stick to the diet consistently, lose fat, build muscle, and command respect wherever they went with a newfound confidence and presence. This small dieting hack will put an end to your late night fridge raids, low energy levels, and diet inconsistency, so you can outangle lads half your age poolside on your next holiday. So in this video, I'm going to talk about where you're stuck in an endless, self-destructive loop, being on it one week, off it the next with your diet, and why you struggle to find consistency sticking to your diet, which is the number one reason why you can't shake off your belly or get anywhere near visible abs. Because despite what these lifestyle coaches say who claim fitness is about loving yourself whatever shape you are, Let's be real, 99% of men step into the gym because they want to lose fat and they want to build muscle so they can feel comfortable on holiday, topless. To get a flat stomach, abs and muscles that fill out t-shirt sleeves though, it starts with asking better questions. Because when you ask the right questions, you find the secrets to burning fat without having to pound the pavements every single evening or log every morsel of food. And to give you some context on these questions, this is the questions that I'm generally asked. People ask me, what should my macros be? How many calories should I eat? How much of a calorie deficit should I be aiming for? And while these are viable questions, they often miss a broader perspective and nuance. Because someone who struggles to, say, stick to the diet on the weekend, they often feel sluggish, weak, and low on energy, you know, despite counting calories. And they often experience late night sugar cravings. So a better question for them would be asking something like, what and when should I eat so I can stick to my diet, feel full between meals, address my gut health, and improve my hormonal profile? Because when you ask a question like this, it makes you look beyond calories and macros and dives into the substance of what you're putting into your body. Because as cliche as it sounds, you are what you eat. And chances are, if you fall off the wagon on the weekend, what you eat over the day needs to be looked at. If you constantly crave sugary treats, chances are your blood sugar levels need to dress in. If you feel sleepy after every meal, chances are your gut health is out of whack. And just blindly tracking calories when you've got all of these problems that need addressing, it's like putting a bloody plaster over a stab wound. There's no point counting calories Monday to Friday if your diet goes to shit on the weekend. Or, you know, you're too tired to exercise after work. Or you keep ending up, you know, getting caught in the cookie jar when everyone sneaks off to bed. Because the fact is, there are far more important needle movers that you need to address first. Food quality, the amount of food that you're eating, the nutrients that you're taking on board, are examples of those key needle movers. And that's why every client who starts with me, the first lesson I give them is on the two to one ratio. And the two to one ratio is a simple way to make sure that you're eating the right food, getting the nutrients into your body. And the premise of the two to one method is really fucking simple. For every calorie that your meal has, your meal should weigh twice as much. So for example, if your lunch is 237 grams of chicken breast, 100 grams of crunchy salad, 150 grams of cucumber, 200 grams of red pepper, 100 grams of mushrooms, 33 grams of sriracha sauce, and let's just say 50 grams of basmati rice, which in total is about 870 grams of food in total. And then let's say the calorie content of that meal is 435 calories, then congratulations, you've hit a two to one ratio of food on your plate compared to calories. But if your lunch is something like 120 grams of you know, the tuna sandwich meal deal, a 60 gram packet of crisp, 60 gram chocolate bar, like a twill, which off the top of my head is roughly 240 grams of food, but is roughly 700 calories, then you've had a three to one ratio of calories compared to the volume on your plate. And this isn't ideal, and I guarantee you will be balls deep in the snack drawer the moment you get home from work, if your diet doesn't follow the two to one ratio rule. This two to one ratio dieting rule is just one dieting hack that's allowed my clients to get consistent with their diet. And over the last few months, I've been working on an exciting project that lays out the exact framework that my skinny fat clients follow to get abs and muscles that fill out t-shirt sleeves. To get on the pre-register list and get exclusive access to two huge bonuses I'm giving away with a book, you'll also get 
the exact dieting blueprint, recipes, meals, and shopping list that helped me lose seven kilograms of fat in 59 days this year, and also by pre-registering, you'll get a huge discount compared to those not on the pre-register list. So my advice is to first make sure that you pre-register to get the exact fat loss and muscle building framework my skinny fat clients use. You can find that in the link below. And also, once you've done that, make sure that if you want to stay consistent with your diet so you can finally get abs and lose fat, start aiming for a two to one ratio of food compared to calories on your plate and watch as you start having more energy and watch the fat fly off you. Hope you enjoyed that video. Give it a like if you found it helpful, share it with your friends and make sure you subscribe for more content like this.